Hello everyone, welcome to our video tutorial about formatting forms. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn how we can format our forms and make them look more attractive. So to follow this tutorial, you can use this database which we have been using in our previous tutorials. So I will click to open it. Now when it opens, we are going to select one of the forms that we have in our database. So I will use this form we named workers form. So to access the formatting features for these forms, we have to open our form in either the layout view or the design view. So we use this layout view option. So this is how our content or our records are displayed when we use the layout view. So when you open your form in the layout view, your form will have this format tab. So from this format tab, we want to look at how we can change, for instance, this picture and we insert our own logo. So to do that, we shall click on that picture. After clicking on the picture, we go to the controls group and we click on this logo option. So from there, you can now look for where your picture is. If the picture is under the desktop, then you go to desktop and get that picture. If it is under our documents, go to documents if it is under picture folder then go there so mine is under picture folder so i will click on it and then come here and click ok so when we click ok we can now see i have my picture inserted there so if you want to enlarge it you can enlarge the picture to the size you want while working in this layout uh, view, you can also go ahead and insert the title you want. So you can click on the title and then this title is highlighted. And from there, you can give it any title that you want. It is just a matter of deleting the information. Then you put the title that you want. For instance, you can call it workers wage form 2020 so after that you just click somewhere in your form you can as well add the date or time on your form for instance if you want your uh, your form to bear the date and time on this header or this title area you just come and select the title area then you click on date and time so when you click on date and time then this date and time dialog box is displayed for you so here it is telling you to include dates it is now you to make the choice if you want the long date stroke time then you leave it at that if you want these options, then you can select that the option you need. Then where well, we have include time, that is if you want this date to have also the time as well, you can put and select the kind of time you need. So if we leave it like this, so that means on our form we shall have this kind of date and time set. So if we feel this is what we want, then we can go ahead and click on OK. So when you click on OK, then the date and time is displayed for you in the form. There are other options that you can even work with as you see there. So if you want to change maybe the, the content uh, font style, you just select you click first in one, then we select the entire form. After we go to the form styles group, assuming you want to give it comic, so 
on your keyboard you will just type comic then you press enter and you will see that the styles have changed whatever changes you make to your form you have to make sure that you save those changes so that's how we can work with these forms if you want to change the font style and the size you can use this font size box or button and you change to any size you want you can bold you can italicize you can underline your content in any way that you want so we are going to click in our form to remove that selection then there is uh, another important feature that we can use that is the auto format feature this feature enables you to change the appearance of your form for instance if we can click on one of them you will see that the appearance of our form has changed there are very many other uh, auto format features that you can use or styles that you can use to make your form attractive so if you select for instance this one then that means that that's how your form will be displayed so when i click on it that is the appearance of the form you have selected you also have the options to add the grid so when right now we don't have but when you click on it and click aside you will see that your form has grids to have a better view of all these changes we have made we shall open our form in the form view so when you open it in the form view you can now have a look at how your content is displayed all i can tell you is to keep on trying as many options as you may want so that you master how to work with the forms hope this tutorial has been helpful to you that's it for now see you in our next tutorial